morning people welcome to another video with all sorts and happy new year this is my first video in 2021 and we are starting off with this vivo fly 3 smartwatch as always people make sure you follow me on one of these social medias as always put a sneak peeks on what to expect on all sorts and as always make sure you subscribe and also hit the bell notification so when I upload any video you'll actually be notified I have done the vivo fly 2 so if you haven't seen it check out my previous videos I will leave the link in the description box below so this is the latest version the vivo fly 3 as it states on the box you've got the watch uh, 3d printed on there it does have watch embedded uh, text on the box i don't know if you can actually see it right there and that is about it so let's take a look at the back and it actually states include smartwatch band charging cable and user manual not all capabilities are available in all areas smartwatch is not a medical device battery life charge cycle and display life may vary uh, by use and setting smartwatch may need to be serviced or replaced by authorized service provider it's got a few trademarks and made in china as is everything else so let's get straight into it people no messing about that is what smartwatch looks like and i've got to say they did advertise it as a 44 millimeter but it looks more like a 40 millimeter which i'll show you later in the video so here is the manuals designed it for building an excellent lifestyle so you've got the manuals in uh, two different languages i'm just going to state it as that one of them is english as well and you've also got the watch bands which we have right here and also a charger now this charger is totally different all you have to do is open the book type charger place the watch inside close it up and make sure you plug it in that's how you charge it this is a different kind of charger i've actually seen compared to the previous ones and that is about it people that's what we get inside the box so let's move this aside zoom in and show you this so this is what i mean with the body of this it looks more like a 40 millimeter than a 44 millimeter let me just show you what the 44 millimeter body looks like here is a vivo fly 2 and the one here is the vivo fly 3 and as you can see the one on the left looks much smaller than the one on the right as you can see right there so we'll put that aside i will do a next video of vivo fly 2 versus vivo fly 3 to show you what the differences are uh, if you want to see that make sure you hit the like button and let me know in the comment section below so here we have it this feels really small in the hand of course it looks like a it is the body of a 40 40 millimeter i'm not gonna lie so let's take a look at the body you've got the crown here which i've been told it actually works you've also got the micro tap but there's no power button so that's a shame right there you've got the bands right there but if you take a look at it it's got a silicone strip inside which actually gives you a see-through uh, effect on what's inside of the watch and same again on the top but you can see the battery at the top uh, take a look at the back it does state it's 44 millimeter bluetooth 5.0 made in china water resistant up to 50 meters smartwatch series 6 you've also got the sensors right there and these two clip uh, these two right here are the charging mechanism as you can see you've got a, a cutout there as well at the top and that is about it also the speaker grills on the side i'm pretty sure one is fake one is real but who cares anyway so that is the body of the vivo fly 3 uh, to power this on all you gotta do is hold in the crown you get a vibration and animation straight up which gives you the, the battery percentage the date and whatnot we have got some different style watch faces this is the first one check this out so it gives you uh, an insight of what the heart rate is the distance you've traveled in miles or kilometers uh, how many steps you've done the time uh, active um, that's the second right there and i'm sure that is the day i'm not too sure so uh, that is one of the watch faces first of all let's take a look how many watch faces they are so we have one two three four five six seven eight eight watch faces which ones shall i choose and as you would know the uh, crown does work which is really really good so let's choose this one there is a bit of a delay lag when it comes to the watch faces but you know it's all right so let's click these none of them actually work 
you know when you actually click the date the date doesn't come up stuff like that so it is a shame so let's swipe it down you've got your sh uh, shortcuts right here uh, this one is to change the smart view you only get two options smart view and uh, the list view that is also the torch which doesn't do anything uh, 24 hour clock 12 hour clock uh, you've got your uh, bluetooth that is the bluetooth and uh, that is the alarm on and off and also the battery power saving mode you get three modes so that is the shortcut what we have right there swiping it to the right you don't get nothing swiping it up you got your notifications so once you connect with this to your phone you can receive your notifications from your calls and your text messages and your apps as well we'll see what kind of apps they are when we connect it to the app uh, itself uh, swiping it to the left and here we have the smart view which zooms in and zooms out and if we just push the crown in put it onto the uh, the, the nine app view as you can see here we have the nine app view right here so let's go through the apps because these apps are a little bit different so i of course is information smartwatch device and it just gives you a little bit of information it does have swipe back feature as well bluetooth connection search for a new device we'll do that later that's your messages your phone book this one is your calculator which that one's not actually going back uh that's your calls we will connect that later as well messages wait that's messages messaging this one is uh, probably similar that's the qr code to download the app that's the heart rate let's check the heart rate out to see if it actually gives us a reading it's got the same heart rate uh, layout as the original because the original does that as well so that's really good and there we go i've not actually put it on to anything and it's given us a heart rate showing 72 beats per minute and it's just stuck on that so they just that just goes to show so this one is the sport mode you can do outdoor walking indoor walking outdoor running and you, you know you get the gist on that uh, this one is find my device that also needs to be connected I don't know if that works 100 percent also your alarm uh, blood pressure monitor so let's measure this and i'll show you as you can see right here it is flashing just a couple of red lights flashing and hopefully it should give us a reading of fresh air which is 82 over 117 for fresh air that's really good that to be honest what else do we have we had blood oxygen as well so 90 straight away 95 percent of blood oxygen that's really good for whatever reading it's giving uh, ecg as well let's see what reading ecg gives us there's not even not even point in checking these on my wrist these health uh, health apps because you do know it just gives you a false reading i'm not even actually connected it any to anything and it's giving us a reading so that just didn't give us a reading of anything to be honest uh this one is your temperature let's see what temperature is it, does it give uh, and we'll see if it works from there 36.5 pretty basic to be honest so that is your clock you can have to choose a few clock types which that goes to your watch faces let's go back there uh, date time time format as you can see a is for international language so let's see what languages we got we got france espanol portuguese italian uh, dutch and a few others as you can see right there so swiping it down that is your power saving you got two power saving general power saving and also super power saving uh, your music you have to connect it to your phone uh, also your pedometer this is gives you the information on your steps calories uh, your heart rate as well that's a night mode your sleep mode sports record whatever sports record you do it goes straight into there that's your weather this is your uh, reset button that is your motion sensor it does have gesture to wake which means it will tilt to wake flip to mute alarm or flip to incoming call to mute incoming call your settings uh, that's the display oh that's the display which is brightness and your screen timeout uh, this is also your calculator calendar remote camera um, stopwatch mic that's all your main, main menu style your sound ring only ringtone notification tone settings so bluetooth settings we've been into that clock temperature units you can change from centigrade or fahrenheit sound we've been onto that volume display um and also international is your languages uh, reset and about we've been into that and there we go you can actually shut it down 
uh, if you want to so we've checked the health apps on these we'll check the full menu on these on this uh, vivo fly fly 3 i have got to say so far it's all right it's not you know it's not the best of watches um i will be doing the other um comparison with the vivo fly 2 versus the vivo fly 3 then i'll give you my full um you know opinion on which one is better but overall even the crown i've been using it off camera and sometimes it just does its own thing the crown look as you can see right there the crown just goes wherever it wants to go look i'm not even turning it it's got a bit of a play in it as well as you can see i'm not even turning it properly and it just turns as well so what i'm going to do now is connect it to the phone there's no, no point actually putting it on my wrist because the health apps don't even work uh, but overall let's see what it's like see what else we can change when we connect it to the app right my bluetooth is on let's swipe it down uh, put on bluetooth itself and hopefully you've got smartwatch right there which we'll just put on You'll, you have to get two as well that i'm pretty sure that is for the uh, the calls and everything so let's go into fitfly this is the app you need to download and let's go into device and we'll just press that as you can see right here hopefully you've got the smartwatch right there let's press that and it should be loading and connect straight away to your level pair that uh, display notifications yes I'll just show you what notifications we get on the phone as well and uh, yeah it's connect it says shows connected it shows the 52 percent of battery let's swipe it down it's right as well and as you can see it's connected to the phone which we have right there as well so that's really good uh, so let's go into what else do we have uh, that's told to wake as well if you want to toggle it on and off uh, but let's uh, so it's not working that's used to the lag so there's a bit of a lag and it does actually work from there so let us watch faces same again you've got your uh five three six seven eight eight watch faces there you can actually change uh your customized one from your photo gallery so you can put whatever you want on from there daily use this actually shows you the spot mode and the steps you've taken but it doesn't give you a lot of options when it comes to the watch itself as you can see Usually you can actually change the uh, toggle on and off the notifications, but you can't actually do it on here. So there's not a lot of options with this Vivo Fly 3, I have got to say. Uh, but what I'll do now is I'll show you the notifications when a call comes and also when you receive text messages. One of uh, my, my other phones ringing this phone and as you can see right here, uh, it doesn't show you the name. It just shows you the number straight away. So that's no good. So we'll swipe it across and cancel reject that call as you can see here you've got a notification saying missed call and you can view it as well so we'll dismiss that now let's check out the messages I've just sent a message as well to the phone so as you can see straight away it says uh, all sorts but you don't get no notification of the well you get it there's a delay but you do get a, a notification on the watch which actually says from all sorts and it says subscribe to all sorts as you can see right there so notifications do come on let's just quickly check whatsapp as well because i knew a lot of people have actually stated before uh, does it actually give you um, whatsapp notifications and let's check that right now so here we go i've sent a message i've got the message on the phone bit of a delay would it come up on the and there we have it so you've got a notification it doesn't tell you which well let's uh, as you can see here uh, so you've got the phone call missed call there um i'm pretty sure that middle one is the whatsapp one it says hi because and the last one is the uh, messages which says subscribe to all sorts so there we have it ladies and gents that was the vivo fly 3 uh, not the best of watches to be honest uh, the only thing i like about it is the screen ratio it does look like a full screen which that's the only thing i like about it they do say it is 44 millimeter but i've got to say this is a 40 millimeter body smartwatch. Uh, there's no chance this is a 44 millimeter you also don't get the button which is a disappointment so it's not a full series 6 clone uh, i have got to say that there is better smartwatches out there 
there as well it could have better features on this but it hasn't so you know and there's a lot of play with this crown button as well uh, as you can see right there it just switches and changes to whatever it wants to to be honest uh, not a great lot of features on it and also you can't change a lot of features on the app as well so there is better smartwatches out there if, in my opinion i wouldn't actually buy this to use personally anyway you can purchase it from aliexpress but you know there is better ones out there so make sure you stay tuned as i will be doing a vivo fly 3 versus a vivo fly 2 uh, to give you my full opinion on which is better but anyway if you want to see any other videos with this do let me know in the comment section below thanks for watching and i'll see you again for another video